Hey, what's happening? It's Noble Credit here, Noble Gang. Today we're going to be trying to figure out which lounge should you go into, the USO lounge or the Centurion lounge. This video is mostly going to be aimed at those of you who can get into the USO lounge, such as your active duty service members, your reservists, those of you who are dependents of active duty service member reservists and veterans and retirees. Those people, you all should be able to get into the Centurion Lounge, but there's a special benefit for those of you who are active duty out there. Okay, so let's take this tour of the USO Lounge just to see what it's like. We're gonna use the one in Charlotte. The reason why we're gonna use this one is because I was there recently and Charlotte just opened up a brand new Centurion Lounge. Okay, so we're gonna take a tour of this lounge and let's get into this video. Here we're at the big food court in Charlotte Airport. This is where the USO Lounge is located. It's on the second deck. It might be a little out of the way, so hopefully you'll be able to find it. And we enter the USO Lounge and as you can see, we see a bunch of challenge coins on the wall. This is what their, their hallway is mostly decorated in challenge coins. The woman that was giving me the tour, you'll see her soon. She was saying where all the challenge coins came from, and I I was recording on my camera, but I didn't get the audio, so I forgot where all the challenge coins came from. But I'm guessing it's from service members who have come and gone. This lounge has been around for a long time. So some service members who have come and gone, and they leave their challenge coins, and then they just add it to their collection, okay? Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go into the main part of the lounge. This is the part of the lounge where the Charlotte Hornets, they donated this section of the lounge to the USO. So that's pretty cool. And this is the part where the lady stops me. <laughs> Reason is because she saw me recording with my camera. I had my camera on the tripod and she thought it was weird. So she came over and started questioning me and I answered all her questions. So after that, she decided, let me just give you a tour of the place. Because she she didn't know what I was doing. She was like, what are you doing with that camera? I'm just doing this for YouTube. Like, okay. But that lasted, that conversation with her lasted a little too long for my liking. So we get to the refreshments. They have some cold refreshments here. They got your water. Uh, I see lemonade there. They had, what I ate there was the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They didn't really have any hot foods. Yeah. They had some decent snacks. So what I would recommend, if you are traveling to this airport at all, I actually do recommend going inside this USO lounge. It's not that far from the Centurion lounge. Uh, so you probably know, by that statement, you probably know which way I'm leaning. And just get some snacks, if you can. Um, these computers do have TAC readers in them. So if you're active duty and you need access to your accounts, your email, you can use these computers to do that. They have a little game room in there. I didn't use the game room at all, but the Charlotte Hornets seem to have donated that. That's probably what she's explaining to me as she's giving this tour. So then we move into another little cozy room. I didn't show the living room area where the major TVs were, just due to how sensitive she seemed about me recording. Uh, she was mainly concerned with people's privacy, which I don't blame her. So that was the USO Lounge, decent lounge. Now we move on to the Centurion Lounge. Now, I didn't get any footage of the Centurion Lounge. Reason being is because while I was in the USO Lounge, I walked out to go to my gate, and that's when I realized that the Charlotte Centurion Lounge was alive and well, had been completed. It just got completed in January 2020. We didn't get footage of that, but I did go in. All right, I went in, didn't have time to film, okay? And I would probably have asked them for permission to film, but it's a decent lounge. Um, a little crowded, yeah, it's a little crowded in there, but I'm sure if you go into this lounge, you won't come out disappointed. Reason, it's probably better than the USO lounge, they had hot food, okay? Now, that's not something that you can afford to take for granted. You go to any Priority Pass lounge and they got cold food for you. You can't be eating all this cold food. Even in even in this lounge, it even in the USO lounge, it seemed like they would have hot food. But 
they had cold food. They had PB and J's that were super cold. And I was thankful I ate like three, but in certain amounts, they had hot food. Um, it was a little crowded. You get your free drinks. Now, do I recommend going in the Centurion Lounge over the USO Lounge? Yes. Yes, I do. How do you, now, how do you get into the Centurion Lounge if you're an active duty service member? I recommend applying for the American Express Platinum Card or Business Platinum Card, whichever one floats your boat. If you want the sign-up bonus, get the regular Platinum Card or applying for the Delta Reserve Card. Now, it has just been announced that Delta Reserve Cards are eligible by themselves for Centurion Lounge access, which I think is pretty cool. That adds another benefit to the Delta Reserve card. That's a pretty good benefit if you ask me. So that is how you get into the Centurion Lounge if you're an active duty service member. Uh, your annual fees for those cards will be waived. I have both of those cards. I've done unboxing videos for both of those cards. You can check the videos on the channel. Um, I have referral links if you're interested. That Delta Reserve sign-up bonus is pretty big right now. With that Delta Reserve, you're getting 100,000 bonus miles with 5,000 worth of spend in three months. So it's a pretty good sign-up bonus, pretty hefty sign-up bonus because they just launched a card and they're trying to get these cards pushed out. All right, so use the Delta Reserve referral link. Use the American Express Platinum referral link. American Express Platinum referral links for the regular Platinum are usually going for about 60K. 60K in membership award points, but those points, according to the points guy, are worth around two cents per point. So what you're looking at is a value of between, we're lowballing them, between about six to a thousand, 600 to a thousand. So Centurion Lounge in Charlotte, better. Overall, Centurion Lounge is a definitely probably better. There is some benefit to going to the USO though. Like I said in the, early in the video, maybe the ability to use a CAC reader. They might have better snacks than normal priority pass lounges. They could be quieter. If that is something that you really focus on, they could be quieter. So if you like the video, make sure you give me that thumbs up. That helps the YouTube algorithm know that this is a decent video and that other people should see it. So when other people see the video, I get more thumbs up, I get more views, helps the channel out a lot more. We're on that push to 400 subscribers, guys. Damn, let's get to 400. All right, I'm with the gang. I'm with the gang, all right? Let's get this money. Don't care what nobody say, ain't about to let nobody hang. Word is we got a whole lot of gang, 12 months for a whole product change. Turn the cars with no time to play. Remember all my folks run away. Oh, you wanna make jokes? Not a day. Oh, you wanna be bros? Not a day. I didn't see my own man turn to hate. Then I see my own man turn to fake. I got a lot of credit cards now because I made bands off of Chase. No, I got a lot of bands in the safe. Gotta understand credit chase. School used to be 759. I only stands in the eight. I was posting for a link, up in 2019. Some people voucher for me was a pipe dream. Feel like I gotta say all the right things. Credit card turners walk a tight string. I see the vision clear, no visor. Sign up bonuses, like inviting with all these cars. It's on me. What am I sacrificing? All these platinum cars, so I have enough. The seventh one is enticing, and all I gotta do is upgrade to go. No telling if that'll suffice me. Number credit stock is rising. Got the five decks and the prestige. I'm boxing cars, hoping my see Aaron Alvarez. If they try me, am 